This video is sponsored by NordVPN. The most top secret unit of the United States Army in the Vietnam War was established in January of 1964 and was called the Military Assistance Command Vietnam Studies and Observation Group, but it was mostly referred to as MACV SOG. Only the best of the best were recruited for the high risk, high reward missions that the unit carried out in South Vietnam, North Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia. Army Green Berets, Navy SEALs, Marine Force Recon, Air Force, and CIA personnel were among the bravest men that filled its ranks. MACV missions involved sabotage, strategic reconnaissance, personnel recovery, counterintelligence, and psychological operations, all behind enemy lines. And stories of 10 man units that held off against thousands of communists were common. However, more than half of those who enrolled did not return from their missions. But this did not stop MACV SOG from becoming the unit with the highest kill death ratio in American history. Protecting your personal and business information is now more critical than ever. That's why you should use NordVPN on all your devices. A virtual private network, or VPN, is a service that secures your online identity by encrypting all your data. With NordVPN, your IP address, passwords, bank information, and location remain hidden from third parties like potential hackers and internet providers ready to sell your entire online footprint to the highest bidding advertiser. Not only is using a VPN a good idea while browsing from a public network connection, it's also essential when doing it from your own home. Right now, NordVPN has a deal for all Dark Box viewers that you can't miss out on. A 73% discount off the two-year plan, plus four additional months entirely for free. With this discount, you pay only $3.18 per month. That's a little over a dime a day. To step up your privacy game and browse the web securely, go to nordvpn.com slash darkducks or click the link in the description below. American Forces in Vietnam the Battle of Dien Bien Phu in May of 1954 proved that the French army and the renowned French Foreign Legion were incapable of defending their colonial territory from the expansion of communism, and the French Dominion in Vietnam or Indochina ended in 1955. What followed echoed the aftermath of the Korean War. The Vietnamese population was divided. Some favored the European way of life to keep practicing their Catholic faith inherited by the French missionaries, while others preferred complete ideological independence from any foreign power and opted for communism. North Vietnam aided by the Soviet Union and China, wanted to take over the South, which had the support of France, the United States, and other members of the United Nations. The U.S. had discreetly begun to send army advisors to train and support the South Vietnamese. In the early 1960s, President John F. Kennedy increased support for its Asian ally, but refused to send American military personnel to prevent another war. Still, Green Berets were sent to Vietnam to form a South Vietnamese Special Forces Group that would be known as the First Observation Group. Aided by both the U.S. Department of Defense and the CIA, the men of this unit had the objective of becoming the main line of defense against a possible Chinese invasion of South Vietnam. As the number of candidates increased, the first observation group was deployed in 15-man groups to conduct guerrilla warfare against the communists, and after a North Vietnamese attack on Laos in 1961, President Kennedy gave the green light to expand the first operation group's area of operations throughout all of Vietnam. Still, this was not enough and more American soldiers were required for highly perilous missions. The Studies and Observations Group To prevent the expansion of communism and give an edge to the South Vietnamese, the United States decided to create a classified unit that could operate in small numbers behind enemy lines to gather intelligence and sabotage the communist plans. The unit was initially called the Studies and Observation Group, or SOG, and it was controlled by the Special Assistant for Counterinsurgency in Special Activities at the Pentagon. Born out of a need to establish a more aggressive stance against the spread of communism in Laos, Cambodia, and all of Asia, another unit was created to broaden the capabilities of SOG personnel in Vietnam. The Military Assistance Command Vietnam Studies and Observation Group was activated on January 19, 1964 by the Joint Chiefs of Staff, a subsidiary command of the Military Assistance Command. Enlisted men often referred to the unit as MACB SOG, and it was created to function as a Joint Special Operations Task Force. After the disastrous Bay of Pigs invasion in 1961, the military no longer trusted the CIA in organizing paramilitary organizations. It was then established that MACV would be led by a special forces colonel and formed by top-tier personnel from all the American military factions and the CIA. This included a rigorous selection of men from the ranks of the Army Special Forces, Air Force, Navy SEALs, and Marine Corps Force Recon. According to the U.S. Military Assistance Command Vietnam Studies and Observations Group Annex A Command History from 1964, MACV's official mission was to, quote, execute an intensified program of harassment, diversion, 
political pressure, the capture of prisoners, physical destruction, acquisition of intelligence, generation of propaganda, and diversion of resources against the Democratic Republic of Vietnam. From 1964 onward, small groups of elite MACV personnel aided by South Vietnamese commandos would make high-altitude, low-opening parachute jumps behind enemy lines to wreak havoc in the Ho Chi Minh Trail, Laos, and Cambodia. Robert Seals from the U.S. Army History Office stated that, quote, MACV SOG grew in size and scope over the next eight years. Missions evolved over time and included strategic reconnaissance, direct action, sabotage, personnel recovery, psychological operations, counterintelligence, and bomb damage assessments. Maritime operations covered the coastal areas of North Vietnam. PSYOP missions included Voice of Freedom radio broadcasts into North Vietnam to publicize the advantages of life in South Vietnam. Declassified History MACB's involvement in Vietnam began during the Gulf of Tonkin incident. On the night of July 30th, 1964, four MACB boats shelled two islands off the coast of North Vietnam. When the MACB boats were gone, North Vietnamese torpedo ships retaliated and pursued the USS Maddox destroyer. This led the United States to declare war against North Vietnam. Once the US was entirely involved in the war, MACB operatives were cleared in September of 1965 for Operation Shining Brass, the infiltration of Laos to conduct reconnaissance missions in the Ho Chi Minh Trail. With the help of the 7th Air Force, MACV carried out strategic bombardments in the zone with devastating effects. During one of the bombardments, Special Forces Captain Larry Thorne, a World War II legend that had fought the Soviets as part of the Finnish Army and the elite German Waffen SS, became MACV's first casualty after his Huey crashed. By late 1965, MACV was split into three regions Command and Control North, Command and Control Central, and Command and Control South, while the main quarters were established in Saigon. Each site operated independently and reacted according to its own particular situation. Teams were mostly made up of ten men, of which two to four were Americans, and the rest were either Vietnamese, Cambodian, or Chinese commandos. Robert Seals added that, quote, Each mission was unique, but most followed a similar tactical profile. After being alerted of a mission, the reconnaissance team was briefed and conducted detailed planning, rehearsals, inspections, and training, time permitting. Teams were inserted by helicopter into the target area. Like World War II Waffen SS units, MACV teams were given considerable freedom in terms of the many tactics they could employ to accomplish their objective, as well as the weapons, uniforms, and equipment they could carry. Enemy equipment was often used, especially firearms like the AK-47 and RPK, to confuse the enemy during firefights. In addition, while deep in the jungle, MACV SOG units kept close communication with forward air control fixed-wing aircraft for close air support and immediate extractions when missions went wrong. Most operations lasted from three to seven days, and it was not uncommon for the 10-man squads to be surrounded by hundreds of North Vietnamese and Viet Cong troops. MACV SOG reconnaissance casualties were exceedingly high, but the unit still achieved the highest kill ratio in United States military history, averaging 158 to 1 during the last three years of the Vietnam War. John L. Plaster, former MACV veteran and author of the book SOG, The Secret Wars of America's Commandos in Vietnam, served three tours as a long-range recon leader, gathering information about the enemy in Laos and Cambodia. In his book, Plaster gathered the testimonies of over a hundred members of SOG and their almost unbelievable acts of heroism during the war. One of them involved the bravery of the 14 men from Recon Team Kansas and how they stood against an entire NVA regiment, while another recognized the Recon Team Colorado and how they defeated a formation of over 300 North Vietnamese by placing eight Claymore mines in their way. The volunteer teams often found themselves escaping from the hornet's nest, but there was a cost to pay for such bravery. Of the 58 MACB SOG personnel captured by the enemy, only one of them survived. The rest were never released. Charles Wilklow is the only known survivor who made it out after the North Vietnamese army believed he would not make it because of his wounds. Legacy The American withdrawal from Vietnam strongly affected SOG in 1972. The personnel was reduced, but they kept infiltrating enemy lines to strike from the rear and halt entire NVA battalions with guerrilla warfare tactics. Nine men from MACB SOG, including Gary Rose, Lauren Hagen, Robert Howard, Tom Morris, and Franklin Miller were awarded the Medal of Honor, and another 22 were awarded the Distinguished Service Cross. Mexican-American Staff Sergeant Roy Benavidez was the last MACB SOG member to receive the Medal of Honor from the hands of President Ronald Reagan after the unit was declassified in the late 1980s. Two decades later, the unit itself was awarded a presidential unit citation during a ceremony held at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Several MACV veterans have written about their time in the Vietnam War, and Plaster's book has been continually used as a reference by the media to tell the soldier's story. The legendary MACV SOG unit has been featured in many movies and video games, like the Call of Duty series, 
the Arma games, and most famously in Francis Ford Coppola's classic film Apocalypse Now. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe to our Dark Documentaries channels to watch more historical content. And let us know your thoughts in the comments below about the brave men of the MACB SOC unit.